Okay, so the last thing that we're going to talk about tonight is going to be about a fun topic that every single one of you developers should get used to. It is optimizing your game. Optimization! Optimization is very important. Yeah. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does optimization mean for video games? Well, if this screen ever blinks and shows what I have... There you go! All right, here we go. You optimize everything, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. So we're going to talk now about optimization in your video game. And the first thing that I'm going to bring up is a PC Gamer article saying, what does this mean? All right, so here's a nice little intro, blah, blah, blah. You can read it if you want to, link in the description. What is optimization and can we measure it? Optimization in gaming discussions doesn't mean the same thing it means in computer science. Don't confuse the two. Optimization refers to um, in computer science, making a process optimal, like optimizing a piece of code, optimizing a process in which um, resources are allocated to memory, um, makes things better, makes things smoother. The crucial difference is that in games, unlike computer science, optimization is making the game run smoother, faster, using less resources to achieve the same result. Um, Optimization, I'm not going to bring up all that, that's just formulas. KB says harder, faster, bigger, stronger. And this and is more why, efficient. <laughs> and this is why our streams are not rated PG at all. I know. <laughs> I was for... thinking something different, KB. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So when you are optimizing your game, you are making it so that the game will work at the same frame rate across a hard range of hardware specs including low-end configuration. So when you optimize your game, someone who has the high-end 3080 RTX machine, well, if they see your game, fantastic 60 frames per second. Yeah, yeah. But the person who also has the Walmart brand HP that they got on Black Friday sale will also see your game at 60 frames per second, or as close to that as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. That is optimizing your game. Optimizing your game means that regardless of the human, the hardware resources, your players will be able to see the same result or as close to the same result as you. Right. What we got here? No, Val Chris says optimization is 50% of their job. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. There is always something to be fixed. There really honestly is. Val Chris, why don't you give us a hand and tell us a little bit about what you do if you don't mind? Yeah. If you do mind, Tell me to buzz off and I'll continue. Okay, <laughs> so things like image quality, anti-aliasing, um, and there's different types of anti-aliasing, by the way, guys, are super sampling. There's uh, the, the on-screen methods like VXAA. Um, there's the temporal accumulation, TAA. Um, all that delicious stuff. All that takes resources. Bloom takes resources. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, full-time mm -hmm. rendering, real-time rendering of light takes resources. Resources are something that are limited to your hardware. When your computer is out of RAM, mm -hmm. it's going to start hitting its hard drive. Oh, hard yeah. Hard drives are slower, unless they're solid state, and that's an entirely different monster. But let's say that you have your 8 gigabytes of RAM and your game loads up 12 gigabytes. First off, what the hell are you playing? Second, 8 gigabytes are going to be in your RAM. Hypothetically, you're actually going to have a lot more used up by like your OS and stuff like that, your application layer. But let's just say that, okay, six gigabytes of your 12 gigabyte game are loaded into memory. Six gigabytes that remain have to be put onto your hard drive. That's gonna slow everything down. Okay, so if your game is better optimized, then those parts that aren't hitting direct memory aren't gonna hit quite as hard. They're not gonna be as demanding. Also, you have to worry about real-time rendering. Is the rendering engine able to keep up? You know, at what point is your game engine, your rendering engine, your game going to go, I can't handle it anymore and start choking? And frame rate drop. Yeah. Yeah. Power to the dark mode. <laughs> so, yeah, t chat has been bringing up really good examples mm -hmm. of optimization. Right. And uh, I can't scroll back, so I can't give specifically what they said, but they have uh, given uh, really good examples I'm of it. I'm scrolling up for you. Um, Anti-lag scripts, uh, turn off pathfinding outside. If you have a visual range, that's from RAS. Um, Murda has a whole bunch of different ideas. Yeah. Um, yeah memory leaks, that's, that's something you want to uh, look at. And then we talked about, you, was, you mentioned Bloom, mm -hmm. and, um, <laughs> you know, people are, are saying, yeah, there's a, a 
to, to I, scroll up, scroll up. I want to see what they what they say. I, yeah. Um. Yeah. Too much bloom steals resources from the eyes. Yeah. So wow. dress right. Very true though. Very but true. But yeah. Um. Honestly, there there's a lot of of stuff you can do to optimize your game. That's just mm -hmm. the, they they threw out a few examples. Right. 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 And it sounds like you guys completely get it. So for those who are watching this on VOD. Um, I know you can't really read chat very well. It's this tiny little box that's right above my head. But um, there's a lot of things that you can do in order to optimize your game so that it just runs better. Uh, squeezing every last little bit of performance out of your game so that when it does hit runtime, your players are able to play it at a good frame per second. Um, we're going to talk about some of those methods. We're going to talk about some of that. So let's move on. Yeah, uh, Rass, I'm not sure if you're, you're uh, serious or making a joke, but I want to take it on the serious path. Um, Raz says lights and video games use real electricity. Well, yeah, um, when you have a lot of resources that you're using, let's talk about Bloom, okay, and that Dynamic. actually p yeah. pulls, that draws on your power supply, it and does. that's drawing on your actual uh, electricity. Right, which the power, and then of course at some point the uh, power supply can say, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Or it can draw upon too much of your own power, whatever makes your fans run over too much uh-huh kind of kind of so there's there, yeah there's there's all kinds of, of problems not to mention money that uh can be caused by not optimizing there's a reason why the very first time teal ever ran skyrim on her <gasps> computer back in 2011 oh no her computer shut off before they reached helgen it did because the engine because the creation engine is so well optimized I that it broke uh, did it, uh, the it, believe it blew, um... It blew your power box. It blew your the power, power box. I think no. it also blew part of the motherboard. No, no, no. no. Fortunately, it didn't cause any permanent okay. damage to that. But, but, but it blew the power supply, yeah. and I think it, it did something with the graphics card, too. Um, everything had to replace it all. Uh, yeah, everything shut down before permanent damage could be mm -hmm. done, but yeah, your, your power supply went, nope! Yeah. It yeeted itself out of existence. So... Fantastic. Skyrim, yeah. guys, first, the first... The Lol, the Skyrim. creation engine, yeah. yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, so let's just let's just kind of jump right in. Um, yeah, it did. It killed it. Oh, it killed it yeah. good. So like lighting and shadow, we just mentioned lighting and shadow, real time lighting, guys. Yeah, real time. You want to you want to mm -hmm. kill your game engine. You want to kill your optimization. Real time lighting, not oh, not yeah. baked lighting, not lighting that you rendered, <sighs> lighting that changes dynamically in real time. Oh, Did God. you guys know that the creation <laughs> engine can only handle four dynamic light sources per cell? Per cell. Before the lighting starts to flicker off of textures, I learned that firsthand every time I play Skyrim VR. <laughs> I get into that game, and if more than three torches, more than four torches are being used, the textures start to shit themselves. Yeah. Four. Yes, Murda. What? Yes, Murda. Yeah. Four. Just four. four. Just four. Mm hmm Crazy. This is, this is a game that was made in 2011. There is no reason for that kind of limitation. <laughs> yeah. Thank no you. No good reason. No good reason, no. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, lighting is going to kill your resources. Anti-aliasing kills your resources. Bloom kills your resources. This right here, right here, those dynamic shadows, really high ray tracing. By the way, ray tracing, guys, if you don't know what that is, is when a, um, a source, a light source, sends out like countless little tiny little invisible lines. They're called rays. A ray mm -hmm. is a line that has a finite starting point and moves infinitely. When you're doing ray tracing lighting, ray tracing lighting, um, the light source just sends out these little invisible lines and when it hits something, it stops and behind it is a shadow. Yeah. When it doesn't hit something, the light hits. Very resource intensive. Super resource Super intensive. Super resource and especially intensive. Especially if it's dynamic. That, that, is, that is why NVIDIA has concentrated a lot of their time and resources on ray tracing. Yes. By the way, guys, if you're interested in stock, get NVIDIA stock. Always invest in NVIDIA. They're fantastic. Uh, I am not a financial advisor at <laughs> no, all. No, we're not a financial advisor. I need advisor. to put like a giant thing. I'm not a financial advisor. I just I just love the company of NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and different effects, particle effects. Particle effects, by the way, which we've been over before in our, um, our podcast. Particle effects can achieve a great many things, but if they themselves are not optimized or handled well, they can slow your entire game down to a crawl. You know... 10,000. What in the world were you just doing? 
Nothing. I wasn't doing anything. Uh -huh. La 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 la. Okay, so 10,000 particles. Uh, if, if, if you have a 10,000 particle system and you can accomplish it with a 5,000 particle system, use the 5,000 one. Don't, don't try to be clever. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, continuing. Um, there are different aspects of optimization. And in a little bit, we're going to go over some myths about optimizing your game. But here's some aspects we're going to go over. Uh, first off, graphic presets are your best friend. If you are a game developer, please create your game with graphic presets. At yeah, least have a low, that. medium, and high. Mm -hmm. Low is the absolute required specs in which the game has to have in order to operate. If you're running a game out of an engine out of the box that automatically has that, like RPG Maker or uh, App, Pro, App Pro Game Guru, then just list that shit. That's your, that's your low. Medium would be something that you've benchmarked as well as high. Yeah. That you've benchmarked on better hardware. You're going to want to benchmark your game. Get a higher end PC, run your game at higher settings, at what point it it starts to choke, dial it back just a little bit, that's your high or your medium, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. So like, for example, if I was gonna create a game in a, a certain engine, we'll call it Engine X, um, the minimum specs for that engine would be my low. Of course, I would make sure that my game could run on that. Then I would benchmark on a higher PC and that would be my high, you know, the highest it could go. And then I would split the difference and that would be my medium. That's yeah. quick and dirty, but that's not a bad way of doing things. At least you have an idea where to go. Um, yeah, because benchmarking computers, that's um, a little expensive to have a whole bunch of those. Yeah. So sometimes you got to guess. That's another reason why your game dev computer has to have a whole bunch of cool power behind it. That's right. Because then you can benchmark higher end. Yeah. Anyway, graphical preset. Graphical presets. Graphical presets. Big, huge thing. And then you want to go through and you want to test your settings. Now, according to the highest possible rendering, how many particle effects can you have? What level of anti-aliasing can you have? Can you only have, you know, 16, you know, 5, 8 bit, 4 bit, 2 bit, 6 bits a dollar? Anybody wants their game optimized? Stand up and holler. I'm on a roll with this avatar. I'm having way too much fun. Um, anyway, so the... I, I, Rat. Somebody please save me from myself. Rat devs on a potato. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the nickname for their for their dev computer. Yeah. Is the potato. That's awesome. So if it runs fine on the potato, then it's it's pretty good. Pretty much. Pretty much. 